So I'm going to stop here for a minute and point out what might be an error in your code. So if you are using a version of MAMP that is uh, missing some drivers, you'll get some errors. Uh, let's take a look at how this code would work in Windows. So I'm going to switch over to a Windows program. And uh, let's take a look at what I typed here. So at the beginning of my uh, code here on user data service, I put in these three lines, which are for showing errors. I'm going to run this program now. Let's see, I'll refresh this. This is for testing only. And I get this strange error that says, call to an undefined method, get result. And doing some searching, you find that in PHP, there are issues with a driver. And so you've written your code correctly, but for some reason, MAMP doesn't have the correct files. So what do we do? We can either get the correct version of MAMP or we can change our code. So I wasn't successful in getting the drivers working, so I did change the code. Let's go take a look at my next version here. So it's called User Data Service 2, and I've got it written a little different. So let's look here on line 29. Here's a new result and a new way to make this work. So store result is a command which allows us to uh, get the properties of our, of our query. So we can print out the number of rows. Now the next command is different from what you saw in the previous video. It's called a bind result. And you have to put in the three names here of any, any variables you like. And they match the column names that come from your SQL statement. So I have ID, first name, and last name. So I used ID, F name, and L name. Then when we go into the iteration where we want to loop through every element in the um, query, we get this. We have a uh, fetch statement. And so fetch seems to work fine with the current driver as it is installed in the Windows MAMP version. So we create a new person object. I call it P and we are getting those three variables from the fetch command. Then we push that onto our person array, and when we're done, we return it. So I'm going to take this function as it's written here and copy it into my previous. So let's go into here and replace what I had typed earlier from the tutorial. So we'll delete that and paste a new version. Okay, save the results, and let's go check it out now on the browser. So let's see, I'll refresh the browser and look at here, I got four people and I have the results here. Now I've got another issue, it says get results is used later on in row 216. So there's probably more changes that have to be made and so if I look down to 216 I should find that I have been doing the same error I'm using um, fetch uh, get result here and so my version of MAMP doesn't seem to work with that. So if I were to check my version of MAMP and see what's going on, I'm at version 3.31, and uh, that needs to be either upgraded or downgraded. I'm not sure. You can either fix MAMP or else try using a workaround with different code, as I've showed you here. So one last look here. This is the user data service find by first name, and you can use this as an alternative way to code your query.